It's morning workout mode time. Uh, this isolation thing obviously limits gym. You like to go out for a run as long as you're with people from your household and you're not mingling, which is fair enough. But I think we're just going to do a little uh, routine here. So I'm going to check on YouTube to find out if there's any uh, kind of mini circuit thing that we could uh, follow along to and just, yeah, sit up in the living room. It could be quite interesting. <laughs> Well, it's Sunday morning and there's some good opportunities to chill, have a cuppa and catch up on YouTube videos that I've not managed to have a look at. So um, I'll put up some of the links of the, the, the YouTubers and YouTube videos I've been watching this past week in the comment section, uh, in the section below for you guys to check out. Um, it's not all just going to be photography ones, but predominantly there will be, but there's the other ones as well. I, I kind of I usually uh, uh, visit to, uh, to to see what's been going on, just kind of various creators and things like that. Uh, so I'll drop their um, their YouTube uh, channel links below, so you guys can check them out as well. But yeah, currently just enjoy not being disturbed and a cup of tea, and a chilled out Sunday morning. Bless. More DIY happening in the Macmillan household today. <laughs> Just starting. Uh, Claire is a sports therapist. Uh, consequently, with the whole lockdown, there is no, there's, there's no treatments being given. So, take an opportunity to give the treatment room a bit of a freshen up. So it's getting that time of the day again, we're getting a wee bit stir crazy, so we're going to go out on a walk, household walk, not interact with anyone. If we see anyone, we'll be crossing the road, staying is it six feet, a couple of metres apart. Fortunately enough, there is a park at the end of our street, so we're just going to walk around there. Uh, bizarrely enough, this is actually a kind of quiet time to do it. Um, it's occasionally gone on a run in the morning and uh, or a bit of exercise, but there's actually quite a lot of people out walking dogs and all that kind of stuff. So we felt at this time, it's currently about quarter past four, this is the better time to do it. Then I'll come back, cut the grass, and yeah, that'll be us for the night. Just chill out. Oh, I actually got a delivery of a, an external hard drive. No, an internal hard drive. 3.5 internal hard drive, a Western Digital one, which is to back up everything and it's going to be stored off site when I'm allowed to leave the house. <laughs> so currently it's going to be stored on site until I can leave and uh, put it elsewhere. But it's just a kind of uh, belts and braces stuff regarding the backup process I have for my videos and photos. Uh, so I'll, I'll pop that. I've never used one of these before, so that'll be a new uh, setup needing done for that. Um, I have got a, you might have seen already in uh, the previous videos, I've got a kind of a slot toaster, they call it which you stick the hard drives in and then you can transfer information over from computer or other hard drives. So that's the plan this afternoon after I've cut the grass and then it'll be chill out with um, a beer and watch some TV. Oh, the Banff Film Festival have released uh, some uh, adventure videos that uh, Claire and I are going to be chilling out and watch tonight. So they're usually great. We usually go to, uh, uh, usually hold a, like a, a day's vi um, film fest uh, in a, a place in Edinburgh called the Festival Theatre and they usually take that over for about a day and show various adventure films, outdoor films and it's always fantastic, it's always breathtaking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they've released some of the, the videos and they're going to put them or they put them online. So that's tonight's plan. Well, it's a successful walk outside. Didn't see too many people, had to avoid some folk uh, keeping their old uh, six foot, is it six foot, a metre, two metre, two metre distance? Two metre distance. Uh, everyone was kind of abiding by that, so it was fine. 
um, but uh, a little bit more people than we thought. But back home now, and uh, yeah, back to restriction of the confines of the house. Yeah, grass has been cut. Glad to get that done because it looks a wee bit ominous outside. It looks like the rain's going to come down, so got that done just in perfect timing. So yeah, as I was saying before, we went out for a walk. This little unit arrived in the post the other day. I have never dealt with these. They're called internal hard drives because they are they're open. As you can see internal hard drives and. I've decided to go down, this is, a, as I said earlier, a bit of a belts and braces approach to um, backup. Six hard drives in total, three working, three backup, uh, or redundancy. They're not actually backup, this is the kind of thing. They're just a redundancy. So if one goes down, then you only have one, so it's not actually a backup, then you still have to replace that with another one. But everything, all those, th those three drives, my computer are also getting backed up offline with the use of Backblaze. I've been using these guys for years um, and fundamentally what they do is you, you can any kind of hard drive you attach to your laptop or your computer you can tell Backblaze to back that up so uh, I've got those three backed up as well on my computer which it does automatically anyway. What happens there if any of your hard drives go down then you can get in contact with them and they can I think what happens is not, it never happened to me fortunately enough but they send out a, a hard drive and I think you can either transfer it to a hard drive you currently have or you can just purchase the hard drive and utilize that as your new hard drive. Uh, great system, really cool. Um, just as I said, for a bit of a belts and braces, another added approach, I would like a kind of physical solid copy um, of my GTEC, of my photos and my videos. Uh, I've opted for this unit uh, and I've also got like a kind of like a toaster or a docking station which you just plonk this in and you tell whatever to then be backed up or just use it as a hard drive, obviously, you can use it that way. But uh, I've got the blue Western Digital 3 terabyte. Uh, apparently they're good for longevity, so if you just keep them uh, as a, as a kind of in a library type of thing. I've also got this to keep it in as well, so it just fits right in, nice and straightforward. And this will be kept off site. Uh, and I'll have another one, and what I'll do, I'll probably like every three months or so, I'll just rotate them out. So that is my kind of main uh, off-site backup, as well as the redundancy ones I've got here and the backblaze ones. So yeah, a bit of a belts and braces one, but I'm kind of covered in that respect. Uh, I can't see anything you know, affecting every single one of those. Uh, I see, hopefully. Another more exciting delivery that happened just the other day is Lots and lots of beers. Happy days. If you're stuck inside, you've got to keep yourself entertained. And this is, uh, I've got a good friend who runs a beer, a beer shop. So they're a small company. Uh, they've been on the go for a couple of years now, but they are uh, adjusting to how the current environment is with uh, people not leaving their homes not going shopping unless it's for essentials, all that kind of stuff. So they've introduced, um, they've still got their stock, so they, they kind of put a, a, a call out um, on Facebook and uh, asked if anyone would like to uh, order some stuff, kind of pretty much order online. So definitely jumped on that opportunity and uh, yeah, they, they, dropped, they dropped these around uh, just the other day. So we'll be sampling some of these over the next few days. Happy days, happy times. Mm -hmm. 